This is Mo Love Mo Fortune, and I'm going to talk to y'all about how did I get into beat making. Well, it started back in 2019 when I started getting back into making music. My best friend, which is Nine Zeros, as he was recording and mixing my songs, he kept drilling in my head like I need to make more beats. I I need to make beats. I mean, sorry. I need to make beats. I need to make beats. I need to make beats. I'm thinking in my head, like, make, make beats, like, because I already had a plan, and beat making was not in the plan. I was planning on trying to get YouTube beats, write songs to it, and put them on for free. Like, I had about, like, four or five albums worth for, worth for that, too, so... That was I was that's what I was focusing on and I didn't really I could care less about beat making at the time so I was like mm -mm, that ain't gonna happen until one day when I made my song Pretty Boy I had a copyright claim from somebody I'm not gonna put put this person out there because they don't deserve that made a made a copyright claim against me that kind of messed my whole flow up so i'm like oh my gosh like this is what the this is what the fuck i'm gonna be going through so yeah it took me a while to bounce back because at the time like i put my old song sly fox there but other than that like i wasn't like really making anything i was like I was like really kind of like on the verge of like give it up, be like, you know what, fuck this shit. Until nine started to uh started to cheer me up and tell me about, you know what? I'm gonna help you try to make make beats because you're gonna need to do that. Like at the end of the day, this is a sign for you to make to make some beats. So you need to start doing that. I'm like, alright, cool. So I started, and my very first beat that I made by myself was Mermaid. I still wasn't sure about the whole beat making, so I was just like, yeah, whatever. It was on to the version, I was like, you know what, let me try to buy some, let me try to buy some beats at least, you know. I can at least like be more, more like professional with it instead of like trying to copy to be recorded for free and all that shit so i did that i i was looking through the uh to the deals that these uh beat makers was doing and it was like they wanted like too much money i'm like man fuck this like it's not worth it you know what it's really it really wasn't worth it and I'll explain that to you like on another video to be honest with you, but not this one. Anyways, so I started in the meantime I started like recording I mean recording what I'm saying doing gas no breaks, making gas no breaks. That was my second beat. That was alright. It was okay. You know, I was getting the hang of it, getting the hang getting the hang of the sounds. But I still wasn't satisfied. What got me satisfied is that third beat that I made called Vibin'. That's when I was like, hmm, okay, all right. I'm, I'm on to something here. It took me about a couple of weeks to make it, but I was on to something. I took my time and I, I got the sounds, I perfected the sounds that I wanted to do with it. So I'm very happy with it. So I was about at least like 80% into the beat making thing. So I'm like, eh, you know, maybe I, I can get to this. And then the final straw was this beat, Bebe, that I just made. I heard a melody of it and I was like, 
I'm gonna make it like uh, an influence to this melody, but I'm gonna make it with my own sound with it. So and that's what I did. It turned out phenomenal. And when I say phenomenal, phenomenal. And y'all gonna hear it. But that beat, baby, made me realize that I wanted to do beat making. And it's so funny, the universe has this way of like telling you things because in 2017, like my cousin was telling me like, you know, I could see you, I could see you like into a uh, behind the scenes chord and mixing and all that. My little brother agreed. But at the time I wasn't like hearing that. I'm like, man, whatever, whatever, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Not like literally, but you know, so, honestly, like, thanks to my cousin and my little brother, like, in a way, they was the, they was the first main reasons why I wanted to do it, too. And nine zero was just put the battery in my back. And now, I can officially say I've been a beat maker for one year. And I'm doing pretty damn good on it. And I'm going to continue to make more beats. And I'm going to continue to then perfect my craft. And I'm going to find my own style. This is Mo Love, Mo Fortune. And I'm out.